And as you get the kids geared up for the semester with school supplies, we're helping them learn some Tennessee history. We all know with books, you can go places. And that's why I wrote my newest book, John, Born to Lead. Born to Lead. Mm -hmm. And Katina, um, I understand this book is based on someone who actually inspired you, and that is the president of Tennessee State University. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You're absolutely right. Uh, but you know, John, I do nothing without prayer, right? I do know that. And God told me to write a book on a Mid-Southerner who inspires people. And so I thought of Memphis neighbor, native, rather, Dr. Glenda Glover. And here's why. You just never know a person's motivation and story until you talk to them. Dr. Glover, she grew up in the Weaver Road area here in Memphis, and when children in her neighborhood would ask her to play hopscotch or jacks, she would politely decline and go to the library. She said she wanted to know about bugs, science, and space, so she skipped games. She went to college and got her bachelor's degree, but then decided to get her master's and then her doctorate. But guess what? She didn't stop there. She got her JD and her CPA, and she's one of only a handful of women to hold all of those degrees. And she did that, listen to this, because of what she saw right here in Memphis. People in her Memphis neighborhood couldn't get basic dignities like water and sewer services. Plus, as a young child, she watched her neighbor's house burn down because the fire department wouldn't come to the black neighborhood. So she uh, turned that pain into passion and purpose to become the first female president of TSU. And she's CEO and president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. She runs both at the same time, which as you know, is no small feat. And she wanted to let children everywhere know that no matter where they are in the world, they too can succeed despite their background or upbringing. So simply put, she wants all little girls and boys out there to know that you are born to lead. And the book is available this coming Sunday on Amazon, August 8th. And it, it's just hard for me um, to imagine that a fire department would not come to the neighborhood because it's black. Yeah, so you wonder why she's involved with social justice issues and why she's involved with getting people to the polls. And she says it's because of who you put in office that you can get basic dignity. So a lot for children to learn and to understand. But, you know, I want to switch gears just a little bit because this weekend may not actually be the best time to be outside reading. You may want to stay inside in the air. In the A.C. And, again, on Amazon this Sunday, Born to Lead. Yes. So excited um, about this. We're we are looking forward to that. I, I can't wait to read it myself. Thank you. Yes, a true. Uh, she sounds like a true inspiration. She is. She? I met her back in 1996, and it's just amazing. I really didn't know her story until I started reading the book. Yeah, that is awesome. I, I'm looking forward to it, Katina. Or interviewing her for the book, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it when you interview her. That's always interesting too to watch you guys uh, go back and forth.